Live from KFES 12, you're watching Heartland News at 6. who's ever watched a game knows getting involved in the action on the field really adds to the excitement. So just imagine how exciting it must be to find yourself in charge of revving up the crowds. Well, C.J. Cassidy caught up with a Southeast Missouri organist who hopes to become the next Ernie Hayes. The organist who, well, played for the St. Louis Blues for decades. Jeremy Boyer bleeds blue. That's the diagnosis given to serious St. Louis Blues fans, and Boyer's proud of his condition. As organist for the St. Louis Blues hockey team, he has one of the best seats in the house, perched high above all the action on the ice. Whenever I, you know, I started getting to be a little bit more advanced in the, as a musician, I started to try to mimic what Ernie Hayes would do as an organist here for the Blues and for the Cardinals. You know, one of the first things that I learned how to play was win the Saints because I was listening to Ernie, and now, you know, here I am playing it after goals, so it's pretty cool. Boyer doesn't hold back his excitement when his team scores, and that's the attitude Blues managers say they were looking for when they hired him. We get a lot of uh, fans on our forums that uh, tell us that they didn't realize we had a live organist until Jeremy showed up, mm -hmm. which is a great credit to him. Of course, Boyers had plenty of experience playing to live audiences in Cape Girardeau. A Southeast Missouri State grand, he still plays at Red Hawks games when he's not performing in the Gateway City. Only about half the 30 teams in the National Hockey League have keyboard players, and very few have a live organist to pump up their crowds. Blues managers say with attendance up by 55% in the past year, they don't plan on switching to just a DJ. Our fans are a very traditional fan base. They like to hear and see a lot of the things they've heard in, uh, for 30 years. And so for us to have a live organist just adds so much more to the total atmosphere here in the building. Puts electricity into the place, you know. A lot of people get excited when they hear him play. I like to hear something that gets, gets the fans going where they can clap a lot. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp kind of songs. So you like to get involved a lot? Sure. Yeah. Boyer's happy to play to the fans tune, but he's also excited about introducing some of his own notes along the way. Everything I play is usually just something I think of and say, hey, this piece would work well with, you know, pregame or intermission. You have to definitely be very focused in on what's happening on the ice at all times because at any second I could be playing anything you know if, if there's a penalty I could be ready to go and then if there's a you know the way team scores you just have to play for that and Boyer says like his favorite blues players he's ready to take on any challenge from the moment the puck drops in St. Louis CJ Cassidy Heartland News and Boyer still lives in Cape Girardeau and commutes to St. Louis he says he enjoys playing for his alma mater too much to move to the Gateway City. You know, that CJ, she loves her some hockey these oh, days. Oh, she likes hockey. You know she volunteered for that story. Oh, I know. And he plays well, does a great he, job. He, uh, it just has such excitement it to does. her. It really does. To the action. Well, speaking of excitement,